Our good friends at Google have changed chat again, so let's talk about it. Ah, Google Chat, it's been through so many iterations. It was Hangouts, and then it became Chat, and then it was neglected for a little while, and now they've decided to start making some changes again. I don't know, maybe because Teams has caught up, maybe because they finally got their shit together with their development teams. Thankfully, Google are putting some improvements into Chat bit by bit, but along the way, in very googly fashion, there are some weird things happening in the Chat world. So further to my last video on how to use Google Chat, Here's a bit of a version 2.0, an updated version on some of the cool things you need to know about chat and how you can use all the latest features. One of the big changes that Google have made recently is they have removed topic chat rooms. Now these are really useful and I really love that we could actually sort our conversations into topics. When you created a room, you were given the option to organize your chats into topics. And what we used to do is effectively start a new thread with a topic name at the top and then any text below would just stay organized in that topic. It would accordion when you put too many messages in there, which was nice because it kept it fairly organized. And it did a pretty good job of keeping you in the loop of the most recent conversations in a chat room because any recent updates to a thread would make that thread actually filter down to the bottom. Now, Google in their wisdom, because they have now implemented a feature called threads, which works a little bit more like Slack worked. Well, unfortunately, they've decided to do away with the topic-based conversations. And I really wish they had just implemented threads from the start. And when Google created Google Chat, they were effectively ripping off Slack, but instead of copying Slack's very popular threads feature, they instead created this topics feature. And we had the choice between organizing by topic or just having one big mishmash chat room, which was just like a stream of chat without any organization in the threads. And we all got used to recommending customers to use topics. We started using topics ourselves internally. And then what Google did is they decided to force everyone now to use their threaded conversations in thread mode. But if you've started a chat room with topics enabled, that chat room is now stuck in topics mode. Now, Google have said that they are gonna convert the topics-based chat rooms over to thread-based. And so at some point, those topics are gonna to turn into threads but there is still a fatal flaw with the current implementation of threads. And the problem with that is that old threads can get caught up and basically disappear in the history of a room. And if someone updates an older thread, even if that is days or weeks old and out of your view, it doesn't actually bring it to the bottom of a chat room like it did with the topics feature. And so while you can open up a chat room, you can see all of the threads that you're subscribed to, it still doesn't sort them by last update. And so you're effectively stuck with a situation where someone could reply to an old thread and it's out of your view. And if you missed a notification or maybe you grab the notification on your phone, but when you go to sit down on your PC, you don't know what thread they've replied to, you're gonna be having to do a lot of scrolling to actually find the messages. Google, please fix this. We'd love a feature where the latest updates are somehow collated so we can see all the latest threads that have had our mentions or just threads that we're following so we know where our latest communications are. So if you're starting a new chat room with your team, here's how you make use of threads. Well, all rooms now are forced to use the new threaded room feature. You can no longer create a topic-based room unless you use the workaround where you open it on your mobile, which hasn't been updated yet. But by the time you see this video, that one might be gone as well. Once you open a new room, a thread is pretty straightforward to start. You type a message and then you click reply in thread to open the thread. I like to throw in the little thread emoji so people know that I'm starting a thread and then they get the idea that, okay, this conversation is gonna be held in a thread. The thing I like about that is if you've got more than five or so people in a room, you're not gonna end up with a crazy amount of chat messages when you're having side conversations about particular topics. Many rooms are pretty much just thread rooms, including my room that I use for my personal assistant, where I might be opening five to 10 threads per day. And I want all of those conversations to be had on the side rather than filling up the main room. Finding threads is pretty straightforward. You can click on the threads button and it will open up a list of all the threads that you're currently following. You can even click and select threads that have mentioned you or just to show you threads that you are following currently. The next new feature that Google has added to chat is the ability to quote text. And this one I really love because it can help your conversations to flow if you've got multiple chats happening at the same time. Now, if someone sends you two or three direct messages and you want to respond to one message in particular, 
You can click that quote button and it's gonna let you respond to it. Quotes also work in threaded conversations too. So this is really useful if you wanna to reply to a particular message from somebody said in a thread or said in a main chat room. Great work, Google, awesome feature to have. A Little bit late, been around on Messenger and WhatsApp for many, many years, but we are very grateful that you've implemented it into chat. And finally, they wouldn't be doing their job if they didn't put emojis everywhere. Emojis are now in Google Meet, and now emojis are now in Google Docs, and emojis have come to chat as well. You can hover to emoji react over any message inside of Google Chat. Love that feature, great work, Google. And remember, if you're on a mobile device, you can hold to select a message and also add an emoji to any message there as well. Thank you for the updates, Google. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you think of all of Google's latest updates to chat. I'm very happy about these. Great to see some development going into this application, which should be the central nervous system for your business comms, as well as your task management and everything else that you do to manage projects in your business. See you next time. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.